What's here? Because it's a camp. I bet it's an NCR camp. And it's uh, this away. No, wait. No, it's that away. But do we have to go around? Hey, Eddie. You want to get a cup of coffee before we head out? Cup of Joe's. Hi guys, it's Andy Wood. We're back again in Fallout New Vegas. And I believe when we left off, Eddie and I were going to have a cup of Joe and head off to um, this Fort Camp Forlorn, which sounds like a very depressing place. But I think it's what I want to do is a couple things. Um, first of all, our truck is way down here in Novak. I have no idea if I can... I don't... What I want to do is push forward a little further towards that. So we're going to go back on the road, this main road, Repticon Headquarters. And uh, so we're going to remove this marker, I think. Yeah. And uh, we got plenty of daylight, and that's what we're going to do. Because, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that Victor? Fancy meeting you here, friend. Uh-uh. You... Uh, just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. Why are you following me? I'm really starting to dis... You're getting on my bad list. Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle, if you ask me. I have no idea what that means. Really, honestly. You're talking weird. Um, yeah, I don't like being followed. Fancy pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. Um, I really don't like being followed there. Now, now, it ain't my fault that Dorothy and the Tin Man happen to be on the same yellow striped road, is it? Uh... Yeah, we're out of here. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. Okay, that was weird. Can we follow him? Because I want to see what he's capable of. Seriously, because we're kind of going this way, I think. Hang on. Yeah, we're going to stick on the main road and just... I want to do two things. One, I want to see if I can find... Um, first of all... So he's using the... So that's New Vegas up there. So he's using the rail system... Oh, interesting. But I also see... see a bridge. I just want to see what he's capable of. He's like... Oh! Okay, was that the game making him... Uh... <laughs> Okay, he just disappeared. Great! Alright. Um, Alright, so Boulder, Colorado, we... Uh, there were some buildings I didn't inspect. 
All right, so my big game plan, because I didn't do it, and I'm not gonna do this on screen, but I, I wanna be better set up to it is, and sorry for stepping out of the character here, that was weird. Victor just rolling up on us like that. <clears throat> I wanna go back for the truck, but before I move the truck, I wanna go back to the Repcon test site since that place is cleared out and loot it like crazy. So, And one thing, somebody told me I shouldn't be using a hunting rifle, and, and I don't know why. So the hunting rifle has a 53 DPS, has a bonus critical chance, and does 51 points of damage. Okay. They said the cowboy repeater would be more to my advantage, and it might be because of the cowboy perk, but I thought that was only for the shotgun. So the repeater does 31, but it's got a higher DPS. Granted, and it's also not um, repaired. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that in, under an advisement. Oh, a little bit of stutter there. All right, so we got an NCR flag here. I think we're all chums with the NCR. Eddie, be cool. Okay, yeah, I see a bunch of friendlies here. So, what is this? That's Boulder. Eddie, you're in the way. And NCR's there, and then NCR is here. What do we got? 188 trading post. Oh, cool. All right. Well, uh, oh. So they have uh, a reloading bench. Who's this guy? Grim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yeah, I, I know. I was kind of part of that. Hey. It wasn't even over there. All right, so I guess we don't need our gun out. Civilizing Ooh. Prim will show what we can do for everyone else in these territories. Um, who's the rogue person? Civilizing will Prim. civilize all this wasteland. Okay, Prim is first only the beginning. Okay, you guys are talking way too much. This is Michelle. Welcome to the 188 Slop and Shop. How can I help you? Well, hello, Michelle, and how are you? Um, who are you? Name's Michelle. My dad may run this store. His name's Samuel. Okay. I take the day shift and he takes nights. We came here about a month ago when Prim went to hell on account of the prison break north of there. Yeah, that's Found bad. Found a bin to call home and set up shop. Well, it, it's all safe now. I've pretty much cleared it out, and uh, the NCR is protecting Prim, so you can move back if you want. Um, oh, that sounds insulting. I don't want to say that. All right, what do you got for sale? Have a look. Probably a bunch of... Whoa! See, I, I got... I got nothing to sell. I really don't. I don't know. I, I, I gotta store some of this stuff. Radiation suit. Good. Wow! I did not realize it had a plus 30. Oh, I got that off the other guy where we got the um, isotope stuff. Uh, um, well, yeah, you can have... See, it's, it's not going to give you much, though. I, uh, you can have that. Ramen said gives me a plus one strength. I'm going to keep that. See, I just don't have much. Can I sell you the empty? No, those are part. Here, you have the smokes. You have all the pre-war money. No, the drinking glasses took me forever to find. No, thank you. Um, no, the hot plate I can break down, I'm, I'm, I, I believe. Small spring. All right, what do you what do you got? You got uh, doctor's bag. You got six of them. Uh, I don't have that much money. All right. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, so I do not want to ask that question. That's, Later. That's gonna be insultive, I think. All right. Who are you? Prim as a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. I know, I keep hearing you guys talking about 
destitute traveler. Don't bother me, please. Okay. <clears throat> Prim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Who Somebody is Veronica? No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Why is it I get so many sideways compliments? Ugh. Where did I come from? Um. Good. Sp the grave, really. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Thank you. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. Uh, okay. Are you related to No Bark? Because he he talks very similar to you. Okay, you live in a hole in the ground. Okay, let's entertain this. Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. Oh. I think it sounds more interesting my way. Sure. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. Okay, so you... Yeah, you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So listen... Can I ask you something on the level? That's kind of a loaded question, but, uh, sure. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, I know them. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Alright, so now, in this game, as Steve the Courier, I have yet to run into the Brotherhood of Steel. But since I'm trying to continue the character Steve from Fallout 3, I do. So let's see what the options are. So I can use my intelligence, which is very high, by the way. They're usually harmless unless, uh, unless you use advanced technology around them. Um, they've got their idea. I know who they are, but I don't care about their agenda. Yeah, I know to shoot them on sight. Um, I don't want to say they're harmless. I think they got the right idea. Do they? Oh, that's a relief. I wasn't so sure myself. Protecting people from technology seems like a big job for such a small group. Hey, so where are you headed anyway? Are you like a reporter? Um, strip Hoover Dam. I, I'm not going to the dam. I'm going to go see an old friend. Uh -huh. I go where I'm needed. <laughs> that sounds like a bad story. Um, I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go see an old friend. Uh, because the character Steve wants to go hook up with Benny again, the old fr okay, yeah. This is quite a journey you're going on, then. It certainly Must be is. An interesting relationship to have brought you all this way. Um, I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together, help each other out. What? 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 Well, I, I got Eddie. He's my other companion. He helps out quite a bit. Okay, so you're trying to ask me, so you don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Wow. Uh, um, what are you, where are you hoping to go? Don't you have a, yeah, you got a family to feed. You're just talking about getting groceries. Like I said, they can handle themselves. Well, and I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Okay. Um, kind of weird. Um, all right, what do you, yeah. Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world, looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Look, I'm not judging a book by its cover, but this whole rags thing, I just had a dealing with Jason Bright and some very religious individual, shall we say. So, um, if you're coming along, you, you're gonna read a lot from a book. I mean, it's not gonna bother me. I just wanna say that I'm gonna be concentrating on my old friend, old friend, okay? Um, yeah, you don't look like much. What do you bring? I, I hate to say it, but. Hmm. Good, that's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Um. Okay. I guess. Now you're talking. 
One thing you should know first, though. Oh, Christ, here it comes. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. Oh, really? I know, I know, but I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Yeah, I know, I, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, be honest with me. Sure, just don't ever ask me if your outfit makes you look fat. Well, oh, thanks okay. for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. I didn't notice that. So Veronica has given you the scribe assistant perk. I don't know what that is. Let's hit the road, huh? So, I have two followers now? Hey, look at that! Cool. Um... I don't see this weapon you're talking about. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? No. Uh, oh, there it is. I did I did not do that. Hey, um can can you carry stuff? I mean, I know you can Ooh, carry got stuff. something good for me? Is it a dress? No. Um Where's my Can you How about if I give you something No, not that. Um I would like to see if maybe Cause I don't. Okay, hang on. I'm not. Are you wearing anything apparel-wise? No. See. So how about if you um take uh. Uh. Did I just give that to you? Because I don't see. Okay. Are you gonna change into that? No. Maybe if we get going. Let me talk to her. Uh, talk. What's up? Um. Oh. Ooh, got something good for me? All right. right. Is it a dress? No, 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 stop. Stop with that. All right, so tell me about yourself. You're not talking. All right. Okay, that's interesting. Um. I want a dress. <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you want a dress? Really? Yeah, a good one. Something elegant and classy, you know? But still stylish. Something that's eye-catching and sexy, but also says, don't fuck with me. Okay. I keep hoping I'll come across some old world designer gown when I'm scavenging, but it never happens. Maybe I should move back to California. Um, all right, let's keep moving. Let's. So, I have two followers. And she's not going to change into those clothes, is she? All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I got a new follower. Yay, we got a new follower. And I want to go back to... Um, yeah, I want to go back here. So we'll go back the same way we came. Um, can you... Um, Oh, 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 so she can use... Does can... jumping at them with my fists count as ranged? Okay, all right. Ooh, Hang... got something good for me? Hang on. Is it a dress? Shut up. God. Um... God, do I... What, what am... I'm using that and that, so... I didn't even know I had that. I'm using that. What am I not using? Double-barreled shotgun... Oh, here, let me give you... Hang on. Okay, sh oh, no, d no, I don't want to... No! Oh. Hit the wrong button. God, I forgot what I'm doing. I'm, I'm getting all flustered here, so... I... Let me repair... And... 357 Magnum. Doesn't the, um... Yeah, but see, I'm not currently using this. What if I give her 357 Magnum and some ammo? No, I'm going to give her the 9mm and some ammo. That's what I'll do. All right, come here. All right, let's, um... Yes! No. Nope. Does jumping at them with my... Yeah, 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 yeah. Got yeah, something yeah. good for me? Maybe. Is it a dress? No, I'm never going to give you a dress. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying never. I'm just saying I don't have a dress to give you right now. So, 
Stop asking. Cry out loud. Where's the ammo? Nine millimeters. So I'm going to give you half. Ish. Okay. So, alright, so don't use melee. Use. Right. Um, okay, so let me exit out of here. You're not going to change those duds. Can you not wear that? Maybe she can't wear it. Alright, so hang on. Let me, um... So you both are on follow. You are... Um... Following... They'll never see the haymakers coming. No, I'm I want to keep... I get distracted. Been scavenging too long. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to keep you guys both on a short leash, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to head back to Novak. We're going to get the truck and see if we can move it up here. So with the truck, I'm not too sure. So I'm going to go into the truck. I'm going to see if it's a destination. If it is, very cool. And then I'm going to uh, head back to the Repcon test site. And... Um, I'm going to loot like crazy. Now, wait a minute. Can we all fit in this thing? This is going to be a cramp. Oh. Okay. That's not bad. All right. Let's see here. 188 trading post. Cool. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Veronica, don't worry. You've got your own bunk. Okay. I think, I think she was a little concerned. Because, to the best of my knowledge, we've done everything... In Novak. So I don't know if we're going to ever be coming back to Novak. So that's why I want to go to the test site. And loot it like crazy. Because downstairs there was a whole bunch of stuff and we got that back door we can use. Because I have no idea if the game is going to regenerate all these ghouls. So I want to get in there and... Oh, crap. Alright. Excuse me. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I um, I wanted, I got so excited that the trading post was on the GPS for the truck that I forgot that I wanted to... Uh... What's that? Is that floating meat? Great. Um, I forgot I wanted to thin out my inventory and thin out Ed's and things that Veronica can carry. I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm going to be able to walk away with uh, as much as possible. And again, I have no idea what I really need. That's um, that's what's going to be fun about this alternate repair. And I think I already looted all these ghouls. Yep. I looted. Yep. So, um... The next time you might see anything, um, can I get to the back door from here? Uh, oh, guess not. All right. Um, so the hopefully the next time is this the back door? No. I'm trying to find the back door. I forgot where it was. Is it here? Oh dear! I have lost the back door. Oh, there it is. Alright, so, um, if I come across anything interesting, uh, we'll do a little edit here, okay? Alright, guys, um, we just got back from the Repcon site, and we picked up a lot of stuff. Eddie's loaded up, I'm loaded up. Check this out. Check it out. I have a spacesuit on. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? And here, here's what's really cool about it, is, um, the spacesuit... Oops, sorry. The spacesuit has got a plus 40 rad resistance versus the radiation suit. So I don't need to carry that around anymore. So anyways, here's the plan. We're going to get in the truck. We're going to go up to the 188. And um, we're going to make it up from there. So uh, <laughs> that just looks awesome. <laughs>